This is the Glass House. Here we go, kids. Erected on a 100 foot by 100 foot soundstage in Southern California, the house has 3,200 square feet of living area for you to watch every move they make, hear every word they say, and judge your players for yourself. Give the people what they want. I have total faith in you. <laughs> We've asked you to vote online to get rid of the players you don't like and protect the ones you do. Oh, you think I'm a beautiful person? I've got you fooled. With only seven players remaining, your cast has been cut in half. Fingers crossed. And the really hard decisions lie ahead. It's true. Oh, God! You'll find out if you saved Mike. Woo! The 48-year-old bar mitzvah DJ from Boston. I'm excited. Who's working with Kevin and Andrea. As far as this house goes, you, me, and Andrea are as real as it gets. Right. Or Jeffrey, the 35-year-old receptionist from Brooklyn. Oh, God, this is amazing. Who's working with the other side of the house, Jean, Joy, Erica, and Stephanie. I really think Kevin has it coming. It makes perfect sense. Mike's been in the bottom two two weeks straight and saved himself week five. What a rare opportunity in life to get to have another week. This is living. But made a critical error in last week's challenge. Ah! And couldn't keep himself out of limbo. Jeffrey stood up for gay rights early on. Against gay marriage, yes. yes. You are a privileged white lady. You do not get to vote against me and people like me. <sighs> He's dropped the political debate and started <laughs> having fun. I'm just brushing my teeth, talking to my Mormon friend, Andrea. Calm down. <laughs> but he took a huge leap of faith with you, the viewers, last week. I'm not always right, but I'm seriously thinking of maybe doing the limbo thing. And even voted for himself to enter limbo. Tonight, Kevin and Andrea don't hold back. Oh my gosh, people, I have never liked. Get your conversation straight. The viewers will see right through that. You clearly are underestimating the viewers. Awkward moment. And the group of five breaks apart. Do you trust Kevin more than Jean? Yes. If you think that that's not gonna hurt my feelings a little bit, Erica, we're not on the same planet. And you'll find out if you put Jeffrey or Mike back into the game. It's your game, America. Let's find out how you played it. He's got cojones. That is beautiful. <laughs> Jeffrey deserves to go home after this move. And the people that put him up to it, they deserve to go home next. I'm glad you're so pleased with yourself, Kevin. I'm not pleased with myself. I had nothing to lose in that. Exactly. Andrea and Mike were going to go down the tubes. And then they threw us this lifeline. And I think what they did was they over-strategized on this. They're out-thinking themselves. What's so beautiful about two people going into limbo, though? Well, no, Mike, my buddy. And he actually somehow pulled off getting what he wanted. I just witnessed a miracle happen. And I am like as happy as can be and they're like, this is awkward, let's cry about it. Well, you shouldn't have sent your friend to limbo if you're gonna cry about it later. I just love that they are rating me so low mm -hmm. that they're going to throw in their own. Yep. So you you play a game where you try to avoid limbo and you just vote it for yourself. I love it. Oh, where for 24 right. hours. Oh! Yes! Oh. Thrift store hipster. hipster. Ooh, I hope so. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god, that's amazing. I don't know what a hipster is, so. A hipster is sort of like a youth subculture. They wear just objectively ugly clothes in an ironic way. They think this makes them more cool. Kevin, I think that you look more attractive like this. Oh my God. <laughs> With my four eyes and my hipster hat? Yes. <laughs> Look at her, she's being up. You only have a crush on Kevin if he's a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> tweeting, tweeting, tweeting. Oh, nap time is the greatest. I know. Oh man. Yay. What do we got? I was almost asleep. It's date, date night. night with their role. Yeah, I wonder what that means. Oh, hey. the chef! Please don't make me be the waitress. I do that every day. Oh, oh man. man, there you go. Gene and Joy are going on a date. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> These like little theme nights that we have are really, really fun, but from a strategic standpoint, you can sort of tell based on where the viewers put people tonight what their opinion of them is. <laughs> Does that mean they don't like me if they're having me bust the table? They might be trying to start trouble. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> oh, Jean and Kevin are going on a date! I'm just jealous that the viewers didn't pick me to go on the date. This is my sad face. Feel sorry for me. <laughs> yes, well played, viewers. Well, well played. played. <laughs> Two chefs. Yeah, we're cooking in the kitchen. This is going to be a magical evening. <laughs> The viewers put Gene and I as the two people going on a date. I hope that it means that they like Gene and I and they're entertained by us. Dude. Our night. Yeah, dude's night. Woo! Gene and Kevin's night. Ooh, fancy, fancy. To me, it was kind of a pat on the back from the viewers to give me that chef's position and, you know, not the busser. Poor Joy. I hate doing the dishes. I'd rather cook. I'm being punished, I know it. Bussing and washing dishes is possibly the worst job, but I'm gonna wash some dishes like they've never been washed before. I'm going through every step of my life because Erica doesn't believe that I am who I say I am. He just likes to talk about himself and he's accusing me. <laughs> then I became mall security, and then I became a 911 operator, and then I became a police officer, and then I came to the glass house and you didn't believe anything about my life. You do know he's done undercover, and you can lie about anything. When it's all over with, you'll see that I was telling the truth in the end. I'm not worried about that. Now, some people, on the other hand, uh, the only problem with your last statement is that my fancers back me up. So about what? I ask fancers that are perception based, because that's the most important thing in the game how the viewers perceive you. Nothing surprises me when it comes to Gene. I have learned that I cannot trust a single word that comes out of that man's mouth. If he's saying it, I'm saying, mm-hmm, sure. I'm pretty sure of yourself, Jeannie baby. I think there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. And I think you're getting borderline arrogant. Gene is overly confident and you're manipulative. So let's just, let's just be honest. I am so sick of the BS that goes on in this house that I'm the manipulative one, when clearly it's not the case. I don't want anybody in this game to get this worked out because it's, it's just a game. And like, I know it's a lot of money, but like. I constantly feel like people are attacking know, my but, integrity but and my character. I'm not trying I to have make been this completely any... honest with every single person Andrea, I talk to. I'm, I'm I have to... never lied. So when you told some of us that you wanted to get off the sinking ship of your alliance, did you also tell Kevin and Mike that you wanted to get off that sinking ship? Well, first of all, I never said I wanted to get off you that sinking ship. You said you felt like you were on a sinking yeah. ship and you were forced into an alliance and yeah. you didn't want to be in it anymore. No, actually, I never said that. Ooh, like ooh, you, you want to yes, go on record I saying do. that? I do, because I roll the tapes. Okay, I feel like this, because of the whole thing of the prop eight with Jeffrey, I was forced to go to a side that was going to have my back. I've never said and you that. Felt, okay, you said you were felt like you were forced into oh, yes, uh, okay, to a yes, lot. Yes, 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 that was the other part. I did feel, at that point, that was my only choice. You said, and I quote, I feel like I'm on a sinking ship and I want to get off. Oh my gosh, that has nothing to do with anything. It has everything to do with That's it. That's not what I said. Oh my gosh, people, get your conversation straight. That is not what I said. Ooh. Yes. Because I could tell you exactly where you made Roll that statement. Roll the footage. Roll the footage. I feel like I'm on board a sinking ship of people that I owe I don't know if, debt I don't know if, to. I don't know if it's sinking like that. It's sinking. The no, 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 let me clarify. The, the core difference between me and no, you, no, no, me no, and you no, right no. now. No, 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 let the me clarify. The reason that I come back let honest with the viewers. This is what it is. At the end of the day, none of our group. Joy has the floor. Joy has the floor. This is what the difference is between our strategy and your strategy. None of us have voted each other into limbo yet. You guys you all guys, voted Jeffrey into limbo yesterday, so don't say that. You chose to vote your friend we didn't into limbo. Choose. To vote one of your own people into limbo when you have two from the other side that you can put in, yeah. it was a huge mistake. The viewers will see right through that. You clearly are underestimating the viewers. We didn't well, choose. Well, then Jeffrey chose to go into limbo. Yeah, Either way, you had choice. an escape. You had an escape. Yeah. We don't you let did not have an escape. Oh, oh, no. Here's the difference, here's the difference. I sure hope yes. he comes back. Oh no, he's gonna come back. I'm really right. sad that you guys would vote him into limbo. We, we would, would not have sad. voted him into limbo. Because Jeffrey's gonna come back and he's not gonna be team captain next week. It looks so bad to the viewers for him to vote for himself into limbo. She completely doesn't even realize that this was Jeffrey's choice. And he's thinking a bit more of a long-term strategy, making himself ineligible 
eligible for team captain and leaving Andrea vulnerable for that spot. If you vote yourself into limbo, that's you saying, I'm so cocky that I have so many viewer support that you are going to pick me back over her. I'm not going to do that because I'm not that arrogant. Sometimes it's not about being cocky or about it being is. arrogant. It's also about like, no, that's what that's saying. If I'm a viewer and I see a guy voting for himself to go to limbo, that's somebody that doesn't want to be on the show. He has a strategy. You guys don't have a, a strategy that's that deep because it's a bad move. Check out some of the highlights from this week's live webisode. Oh my gosh! Oh. Ah. The viewers have decided blood sucking vampire or mindless zombie. I'm a little horny right now. Oh my god. Oh, Kevin, the viewers want you to talk like a pirate. Alrighty. And Erica, like a parrot. Somehow I saw that coming. Ah! Don't miss the crazy live webisodes. Go to abc.com slash glasshouse to view and vote. I haven't found me booty, but I did find a very large chest. <laughs> Jean, what's one thing you did not expect in the glass house that you are faced with every day? I totally did not come into the game thinking that uh, I would like anybody in the house on like a personal level and that kind of happened. My very first tweet out was rule number one, don't fall in love in the glass house. I respectfully beg to differ. What was that, Erica? I beg to differ. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm only likable as a part of someone's gameplay. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's a tough one to argue as a parent. <laughs> Coming in and tweeting, first of all, first rule, don't fall in love, guys actually indicative of the fact that he was planning on doing exactly that. Do you trust Kevin more than Gene? Yes. Even though Gene has never thrown a stone at you or tried to vote you into limbo, you trust Kevin more than Gene? I trust Gene not to send me into limbo, but as a person, I trust Kevin more. So in this game, you trust Kevin more than you trust Gene, even though Kevin is the one that threw a stone at you and Gene never has. I didn't realize there were follow-up questions. <laughs> <laughs> You're so trustworthy, Kevin. Snarky. Ooh, ooh. Awkward moment in the glass house. Awkward. You like never question it, do you? Question what? Getting married, starting, and all that stuff. Oh no. No. Mm -mm. Like, because it, like, I think it was, yeah. like, it was the right life for you. Yeah. I had two people that basically both told me that they want to marry me. And... Wow, the... You were low at 20? Well, I was 20 when I got married. I was 19 when we got engaged. Jeez. Yeah. And so I had a guy that I had dated for four years. Yeah. And he was like, we're getting married. Like, what are you doing? So I, I literally had two guys on the phone saying, marry me. Yeah, and I literally had to choose at that point, like, what my future was going to basically be. What did it come down to for you? Like, I really just loved Chris's family, and I could really see my niche there. Yeah. So that's what it came down to. Because I don't think that there's only one person out there for you. I really don't believe that. I don't think there's only... Mm -hmm. I, I think you no, can I be happy. Either. I think you can be happy with lots of different people. It's if you want to be happy, if you want to make it work, if you, if you choose to put in the time and effort. Yeah. I just think you're interesting. <laughs> if you told me like there's gonna be a Mormon girl there, like I don't think you're a bad person. Like I kind of want to know all about your life. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. I think, that you, like, I think that you like knew a lot of stuff really early. You're like focused. It intimidates the crap out of me because I can't. I feel like you know what you want and you get it. <laughs> it's not that I get it. It's that I'm willing to fight for it. Yeah. It feels good sometimes to have these conversations with her that are just real conversations about me and my real life. The more we get to know each other and the more conversations we have like this, the stronger I feel that maybe we can work together in this game. You're a no. lucky bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have, I can have a glass of wine. Just one glass. It's so early, please don't. You not like me when I drink? No, it's not that. You know what? I like, my, I'm really proud of myself, considering like where I put myself at a young age. 
So I think if you saw me at 15 years old and you saw who I am today, you would not even think that we were the same person. I was just like so freaking desperate for these kids' approval. Like I dressed a certain way. I just needed like, you know, I wanted to feel like I was something. And uh, there was this guy, I had a crush on him since like the sixth grade. But he was really mean to me. Like in the sixth grade, he was awful. But I think being like, 15 in high school and I thought that I was kind of cute. I was just like, it was kind of nice that suddenly he was paying attention to me. And I remember we'd go to his house and there was a group of us and we'd like hang out after school. I ended up losing my virginity. And then not only did my parents find out about it, but everyone in school found out about it. And like the girls for some reason, like they tortured me pretty much. Like they egged my house and they took shaving cream and like shaving cream my parents' cars and drew like pictures of like penises and the word like slut and whore like on the sidewalk. It got so bad that finally I had to like switch schools and I think like my spirit at that point was just like shattered and I just went out and like I was sneaking out of my house all the time. I started doing freaking crazy drugs, hanging out with people that were so much like, I was hanging out with like 30 year old men in trailers who were cooking crystal meth. But by the grace of something, I am not buried out in the Arizona desert somewhere. Like, it's really sad. I let people's past be their past, and as long as you've become a better person, then I'm not gonna hold you accountable for whatever happened years ago. As long as you've moved on from it and you've grown from it. I'm a 27-year-old woman, and I still get upset about me at 15. Considering, like, where I came from, I'm happy with my life and I'm very proud of myself. But when you bring my daughter into the mix, I just want to be able to give her more. Jeffrey to boat himself into limbo, he just signed his death sentence in this game. Mike might be coming back. We may have three, and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Mike, Jeffrey, in the closest vote yet, the returning player only received 51% of the vote. Mike, Jeffrey, in the closest vote yet, the returning player only received 51% of the vote. Good luck, Mike. Goodbye, guys. Good luck to everybody. It really sucks to lose Mike out of the house. I mean, I he was my buddy. I didn't realize how much I was going to miss him. Oh, my god. That was oh stupid. Oh, that was, that was stupid. real deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun, is it? No, it's not. It's stupid. It's stupid. That's a perfect reaction to that. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. It happened. Thank you so much. Genuinely, I would never do this move again. Get used to me around here, because that's not happening again. <laughs> we didn't send Andrea down into limbo last week and sent myself instead in hopes of her becoming team captain this week. Hopefully, our plan worked out and the viewers will vote her into the bottom two this week. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Mm -mm, that's stupid. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Jeff, can I talk to you for one second? Can I get my second. drink with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene is playing the most deceptive game in the house. There's no doubt about it. I like how Gene wants to immediately pull him aside, like, oh, now Jeffrey's your main alliance. Well, of course he is, because now Jeffrey's safe for a week. So it's always latch on to the people that are. He wants to make sure that he gets his claws into Jeffrey before Erica has a chance to. I'm like, it took incredible balls to do that. I'm like, not only did he, and then I'm it's like. My signature move. I was like. <laughs> well, when they say your biggest alliance is with the audience. Yeah, so I'm I like, that's, that's why I was like, well, I'm going to take that information. Sorry, I had that's to come okay. molest you. It's all right, sweetie. How's everything? It's been so pretense. It's been basically like me, Jean, and Stephanie, uh -huh. Erica, Kevin, and Andrea. Really? She's been talking about how amazing Kevin is and Andrea is and how she can't trust Jean. Oh, I, I definitely have missed some things since I was gone. I need to get uh, some alone time with Erica. Ah! <laughs> Super tense. It got really awkward.
So who are the team captain is going to be today, Gene? What's your prediction? It is going to be you and Erica. Myself and Erica? Yep. Okay. Really? That's an interesting prediction. I agree that it'll probably be me. I think Erica's all the way at the top of the house, so I don't think she's even in, in the least bit at risk. I don't think so. Hands down, yeah. based on my fancers. It's not to discredit your fancer, and it's not even my own fancer, but based on the collaboration of three other fancers, I don't put her in the top. How does that work? That's interesting. It's, That's it's a concocted answer. Just play along. Oh. <laughs> Thought you were just asking a straight up question. Looking for a straight up answer. I gave him a straight but up I answer. guess with <laughs> Gene, nothing straight up. The straight up is Stephanie and Andrea. I go into that every week expecting it to be me. Now that Jeffrey's back, we have no reason to believe that the viewers are on our side. I mean, there's a good chance I could be team captain. See, that's the thing. I'm just but. thankful. It's not cocky, but thus far, the viewers have really taken care of me. Yep. Players, it is time to reveal which two of you have received the least number of votes from the viewers. Last week I was bottom two. I'm hoping it's not the case this week. The whole reason that Jeffrey went to limbo was to make sure that Andrea didn't have immunity. So really hoping that one of the team captains this week is going to be Andrea. The two least popular players will become challenge team captains, and the losing one will head to limbo at the end of the week, along with one of their teammates. Let's begin. Stephanie, since you have received more votes than Joy, wow. you will get first pick for your challenge team. Okay. That is all. Thank you. It's funny how that switches around. I know. Yeah, it's at the point where, where things switch around a totally. Lot. On a dime. It's okay. So we knew it would come at some point. That's the worst part of the day. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the worst part of the day. And it sucks. I feel vulnerable. I feel sad. I feel angry with myself. I think I got drunk <laughs> a couple of times, and I think I got a little too emotional. And I think I let my temper get the best of me. I don't want to talk right now, honey. What a bombshell. What a bombshell. Right? I'm great with that. <laughs> for us this week to have Joy and Stephanie in as team captains. It's <laughs> I love it. I love it. But hey, we had a good day today, right? Our it's... buddy went home and he got screwed. He but, got screwed. But at least we got a break today, right? <laughs> Jean! Come here. I really hope that you guys will give me another chance and take the time to see the different layers that there are to me. I want another chance. <laughs> hey, if you want me on your team, you know that I'm gonna give it 100% for you. Like, I want you to feel the safest. Have I been that bad? I don't think you're bad at all, but I mean, I think being in the bottom two for Joy is definitely the wake-up call she kind of needed. I need to step in and comfort her just because of our friendship. I'm going to do what I can to defend Joy and uh, to try to make sure that if I'm on that team that she pulls out the win. Giant skee ball. Oh. I wonder if it's human skee ball. Oh. oh. 
Oh my god. Okay. I chose Kevin and Erica to be on my team, and then Jeffrey has chosen to align with us. This is neat. I'm really excited to go into this challenge with the team that I have. Boom. I have Gene on my team. I think he's a smart guy. I think he has my back. Andrea thinks she's a good athlete, and I think she doesn't want to go home. This is going to be fun. Players, welcome to Back At Ya. One player from each team will roll two balls up the ramp and back at the three containers in the middle. Then tag the next person on their team to do the same. Land four consecutive balls in your team's designated container to win the challenge, but beware. The other team can sink a ball in your container to clear all your balls. Take it away, Bob. This challenge also features a prize container. The first person to land a ball in the prize container will win $3,000 and caricature pictures of the cast drawn and donated by viewer Christopher Abels of Los Angeles, California. That's so cool. Land the second ball in and win $2,000 and an engineering game from No Adam Science Curriculum in Salem, Massachusetts. Am I the only one excited about the science kit? Land the third ball in and you'll take home $1,000 and an electronic reader donated by viewer Robert Marsalek of Berwyn, Pennsylvania. Back to you, Ori. Woo! <laughs> Begin. Go for that, oh, that white so line. Close. Go for that, that so white close. line. Okay. Go for the white line. Since there's an uneven amount of players this week, I unfortunately have nothing to do except cheerlead for my team from the sidelines. Which, by the way, I'm a really good cheerleader. Oh, good. Do I need to go harder? Yeah, you need to. You need to have a little more force. Okay. Yeah, Jean. Oh. It dropped in, I said, yes, it feels so good. It was money. It was like, okay, if I can do everything else just like that ball, it'll be great. Throw it hard, Joy, throw it hard. Yeah, Joy. Run, 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 run. Good, good, good. Good, Steph. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, nice. Did I get it in? Point at ours, They reset right? ours. I felt so crushed when the yellow team dropped the ball in and just flushed it all away. Yeah, you blocked them, good job. <laughs> okay, so it's like they have nothing. Yeah, it's like they reset. Good. Right? Don't sprint up there, just walk when she goes back. Take your time, real easy. Yeah, good I throw, got it. good throw. It's okay. Sorry. This was a physical fitness failure. <laughs> Apparently, all it takes is uh, like some fast pitch ski ball to have me sucking wind like I'm climbing Mount Everest. Hustle, hustle. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I am huffing and puffing like a kid at fat camp. Oh my god, I feel sick. Good, Kevin. Oh! Kevin has won $3,000. Oh, nice. Nice. So Kevin's got three grand. Um, yeah, get some in our bucket. That would be fantastic. Joy straighter, more on the inside. Oh, some of Joy's throws were so, they, they had me laughing. She was hilarious. Okay, run, 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 run. <laughs> and then to see her run, she's not a runner, she's a prancer. So the combination of Joy prancing and her throws. Ah. Oh, good thing she's cute, right? I wish I just spent more time at the arcade. <laughs> Did you get another prize? Kevin has won $2,000. Two prizes. You just got two you, prizes. You got the second one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in it for myself. Okay, lucky you <laughs> Good. I won $5,000. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'll take it. But um, priority number one is getting those balls into my team's bucket. Got it. We got one. Hi. Oh, we did? Did we? Yeah. Joy's uh, destiny in the house is kind of on my shoulders right now. So I got the added weight of if I lose, it's I'm not safe and Joy's going to limbo. So uh, it, it's a double whammy this time. Oh, That's two. Did you just get two? No, we got two. Oh, that was the second one? Okay. Yeah. Okay, two. We almost got in the prize. Good throws. Nice. Nice. Yes. Good job. One more. Hit it, Erica, right here. We need a block. Good block. Ah. Run back, run back, run back. They're going for the block. 
This was probably the most difficult challenge. The balls are flying and they're not dropping in. Oh, you're still on it. Wow. Come on. We're gonna get it in here. Good throw. Oh, that's oh. 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 I did something good. I did something good. Good thank job. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. No, you guys did awesome. Thank you so much for fun. being on my team. Right, we tried. No, I appreciate it. We had fun. Thank you, babe. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. This is not a challenge that I wanted to lose. You did awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm not giving up, but at the end of the day, I know that this is beyond my control. If the viewers want to see more of me, then they'll bring me back. Thank you, babe. You did great. I think everybody in this house, even the people that I have had a workable bond with, is expecting me to go into limbo and to not come back. And I really want to prove them wrong. Joyfish. Yeah, baby? Can I get a hug? Oh, yeah. I love you. I know. Just do me a favor. Yeah. Please don't vote Jean into limbo. No, I'm not. That was never, ever in the plan. That's all that I asked. I've told Andrea and Kevin beforehand that that's, it's yeah, been that's that way all. the whole time. We made a deal, and that's the deal. So. Yeah, and it's nothing personal against Andrea. It's just like, right, he's going to have a hard enough time with this. You guys so have had my back. I'll tell him not to worry, but you tell him not to worry, too, and you have my word. So. Thank you. Oh, oh, something else. Oh, so much happening. Good afternoon, players. Kevin! Kevin! Oh, this is exciting. Oh, yeah. Is it the caricature? Yes, it is. is. A fan drew caricatures of all of us. Oh, it was such an exciting gift for everybody. The caricatures just made everybody's day because this is somebody that actually took the time to draw all of our mugs and uh, they came out perfectly. We got them prominently displayed out on a table in the living room, and uh, those were awesome. This is one of like my favorite Probably. moments. This is so, so cool. Right. Thank you so much. One of those people is going to be a quarter million dollars rich. I know. <laughs> Can I just like it sucks. Like I don't feel good about sending you in there, man. And I don't know in the long run how it's going to look. It's just I do think you will come back. I don't know why you wouldn't. And. I am honored to compete against you, m'lady. I just have former obligations, you know. She's telling Andrea about all the awesome things that are going to happen when she comes back. If you don't come back and the faux man stays together, I'm going to jump out of a window. I think they have legitimate feelings for each other. I just don't buy that Gene, like, never considered the advantage of that. I think that he came in knowing he was going to be in a showman's. Erica's in there talking about how she doesn't buy Jean as a sincere. He came in like very calculated, looking for the right girl to do it with. And I don't see them having a whole lot in common. I don't even see the rapport. I just see him cuddling back there. She's such a good friend to me. Boom. I'm sort of making a case against Jean based on character stuff, but in terms of strategically, it's weird. Mm -hmm. My gut instinct is to send Jean in there. Obviously, I would rather have you here than Jean. And I will make a case for that in your absence. Erica. Mm -hmm. This is my last ditch plea as your friend. <laughs> I'm not going to go into limbo against Jean because I really care about Jean. If the situation were reversed and you guys had lost, there's no way that you would even be worried about going into limbo. Look, here's my issue. You already gave me your word, though. Do you want to listen to me or not? I want to just interact with Joy. You, unfortunately, have put yourself in a position where you and Jean are now a package deal. So are you telling me that you're going back on your word? I would never send you into limbo. If you throw a stone at Jean right now when it's my butt on the line and I'm in limbo and I'm telling you what I want, I will take it as though you are throwing a stone at me. I feel like you threatened me. I'm not threatening you. You apparently boarded the HMS Gene, and you're going down with it. I'm I, going down with it? No, I mean, what? It's, I'm talking about Erica, what you're not getting. Do what you want, but don't hug me and tell me you love me afterwards. That's all I'm asking you. Do what you want. Joy, you chose your man over me about three weeks ago. You know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response, Erica. All right. Because because as much as you say transparency is your game, like you are so see-through right now, 
and you're the only one who doesn't see it. Oh my God, Joy. Guest and the carpet's dirty. <laughs> All of your kids! All of your kids! Oh my god! Oh, they're so excited! The viewers have voted for Andrea's family to give this week's fancers. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, hi guys! That's so awesome! <laughs> hey guys! Hi! We've heard a lot about you! The yeah! Mom talks about you all the time! Aww! Oh my goodness! Look at you! Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. I cannot believe you guys are here right now. It's like, this is so surreal. Who were you most excited to meet other than mommy? Um, Kevin. Yeah! <laughs> Chris, please begin with Andrea's Fancer. Which character trait do you prefer from the players in the house? To be cocky like Jean or to be humble like Erica? Your Fancer is Erica. Oh. <laughs> Next is Erica. I want to know if you think that I should stick with old agreements I made or go with new instincts I have now. Erica, your fancer is new. Thank you. Jeffrey. Should Erica and I turn against Gene before he turns on us? Yes. Thank okay, you for visiting yeah. the glass house. I love you. Yay! Thanks so much. Love you too. Careful! Yeah. Bye! See you guys. See you guys. It was fun. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Lucky dog, you! Oh my Lucky dog! Goodness. Can I talk to you ladies for a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. What were your questions and what were your answers again? My question was. What character trait do you prefer, cocky like Jean oh, or humble like Erica? And what was your... Mine was, do you guys think it's better for me to stick with old agreements I made or to go with my instincts about who I like best now? So all three of ours are in alignment with voting Jean in right now. What is your instinct to do? Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm, Which I'm, is what? I'm sending Jean to limbo. I mean, You're voting I'm, for Jean. I'm voting for Jean. I can't send him. There's, It's going to be three against three. Oh. Uh... Passing the baton to you, buddy. Have fun. <laughs> How do you like the hot seat? Oh, no. Weighing strategy versus emotion is terrible for me. It really is. It's awful. So. Stephanie, I'm really, I'm like terribly, terribly, terribly conflicted. Right I know. Now. And I feel like this is where, like, there's a crossroads of heart versus strategy. And can you do both? Yeah, and, and I'm sorry to make you the swing vote because <laughs> I, I already said where I'm voting. I know what you're so doing. So Jean's gonna vote for Andrea. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna vote for Andrea. Mm -hmm. If you vote for, well, yeah, because if it, you it vote would, for it Andrea, would, it would we force it to a tie, and Joy and would take Andrea. Andrea. Exactly. Oh you look God. really conflicted. I really am. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I just. I know. You know, like, if, if you go on the, like, you know, the thing, like, your biggest alliance is with the, the, the people viewers. watching, mm -hmm. all their information just came back to, to do it. Yeah. I don't totally know what to do. I don't totally know what to do. <laughs> this has been such a messy dilemma for me this week that I don't know what to do here. At this point, I think I'm just going to leave it up to the fancer. I truly don't know what that right choice is just yet because I am so led by my emotions, but I also am a very rational person. has reached a decision.
only one vote remains. One vote remains. Players, your voting has resulted in a tie. Joy, it is now up to you. Please choose either Andrea or Jean to join you in limbo. Andrea. I really do like you. I know, I'll see you soon. Hello, I hope I can. I feel like a little better. It's time to make your voice heard. Go to abc.com slash glasshouse and vote either Andrea or Joy back into the house. Quarter of a million dollars in my life would be amazing. It would mean security. It would mean a good college savings account for my daughter. It would mean I could pay off my debt and put a down payment on a nice little house. If you want to give me a second chance, I promise that I'm going to be the best me that I can be and I won't let you down. Thank you so much for letting me have those moments with my family. I know that they want me to fight, and I have the fight in me, but I need you. You know, I can't win this game without you. I can't be in this house without you. Please just vote for me to come back from Limbo this week. You'll have the chance to win $10,000 after next week's episode. Tune in next week to learn how. And a player returns to the game. Plus, an offer so tempting, one of the players may quit the game. To hear who the players want back and why, log on right now and watch live.